because you do want to make sure that the hair has that slightly slimy kind of slip. Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today on Free Salon Education and I'm going to be going over finger coils as well as comb coils. A lot of people aren't really too familiar with it, but it's a great technique for coarser hair that maybe doesn't have that definition and it's good for all lengths. So it doesn't matter if it's short like this mannequin right here or if it's a longer texture. So usually what you wanna start off with, totally wet head. And I'm gonna go in with Paul Mitchell's Clean Beauty. This one is the anti-frizz leave-in treatment. Been playing around a lot with that and it's great for blowouts. It's great for adding into a style like this. And it's just, it's got the right amount of slip that I need in order to get the hair to lay down. So with that, I always go in like right underneath. Next, I like to layer on the Paul Mitchell Refresh. This is another lightweight product because we wanna give it hold and we wanna give it memory, but at the same time, we want it to have movement, especially when it dries. Now you wanna make sure that whatever curl definers that you're using, that they don't actually flake. So one of the reasons that I love Paul Mitchell is that they have perfected that. And my go-to choices are either the Lavender Mint Curl Defining Gel or the Express Round Trip. This is another great gel, soft hold, flexible, and really versatile. All right, now that I've got that sufficiently worked through, because you do want to make sure that the hair has that slightly slimy kind of slip, and you wanna make sure that it's properly hydrated. That's another reason that you can end up with that milkier look is because the hair, is, the product is sitting on top of the hair because it's dried out. So I like to start in the back and work my way up now that I've gotten good amount of product on there and you can see that the curl is already starting to form so basically what these coils are is that I'm just working with the natural texture of the hair and now I'm actually gonna make like tiny little coils instead of all of these other ones that are mixed in together So I'm just gonna take the fine side of my comb comb that product in a little bit more, mold it down so that way I have a little bit more control. And then I'm gonna slide off a little bit of that hair off to the corner so that way I just have this tiny little corner over here. All right, so we're gonna just comb that hair, get that little corner, and we're just gonna give it just that little twist. Now you can also do that with your finger if you feel like you can't get in there with your comb. And you're just gonna start making those little coils. All right, so let's try that with the longer section. Maybe that'll help. All right, so we're a little away. We're gonna take that section, give it a little twirl. And now it wraps around the comb. So when you're doing longer hair, I find it's easier to use your hands. So I just grab the base, wrap that around my fingers. This is where I use two. I just hold on to the ends, I mean, sorry, the base of the hair. Now for the ends, I let that wrap around my fingers. So that's where I just use one finger right on the end. So that way it has that nice little coil.
Now, some people, they don't want to actually have too much texture right at their base. So you can take like a pin curl clip just to give that a little bit of control and lay that a little flatter onto the head. All right, so moving right along. So as you can see, once you get your rhythm, you can get through that pretty quickly. Just keep re-wetting and making sure that the hair is properly saturated. Okay, so now I'm taking this little shorter side piece and I'm gonna use my comb for that. So if you do diffuse it so that it's not dripping, or if you put this under a hooded dryer, if you're diffusing, then of course we wanna do that on low heat setting, medium heat. I would usually have someone lean forward. So that way the hair is off of the head. It's giving a little bit more volume, but mainly this would be an under the dryer kind of thing because most of the people that would want this want it to be stretched out they also want it to be a little sleeker. So now you can see that it's forming these larger curls at the base where it's shorter. They're just more like little tiny pin curls. One of the things that I love about the Dyson diffuser is the fact that it's got this circular pattern, like most of them do, except that the holes that are in there are facing each other. So they're not all around the holes, they're just on that one side. So it's not blowing it all over the place, it's keeping it concentrated to just that ring. All right, so I'm not gonna do the whole head, I'm just gonna do a couple of sections just to show you how that would look. So we got that on the overhead. So making sure that that is nice and saturated. And you can see the difference between the saturated hair and the not saturated hair. So we've got nice and defined, and then we've got frizzy. Okay, so for this, I'm taking a larger section, grabbing that base in between my thumb and index finger, and then I'm just wrapping that around my two fingers. that is it, longer hair. You still get the same thing, it's just longer. I hope you guys got a little bit of extra information, a little bit of inspiration. And if you have any questions that maybe you don't wanna ask here, you can always DM me on Instagram at, at the hands downs. Would love to talk to you. But also make sure that you share with your friends the FSC Now app and just tune into our classes. Matt's on Tuesday, Brian's on Wednesday, I'm on Thursday, and there's always content being shared. But wherever you are in the world, be safe and have a great day.